If you have an Elite Series machine, this video will show you how to set up and run a file using the B58 controller. Remember, it's always important to home your machine before getting started. After we have secured our material down, we can then thread off the collet nut and just be sure our quarter inch collet is inserted. Remember, the collet should snap into the collet nut. After locking our bit in place, we can jog the machine to the lower left hand corner and set our origin position. Once the bit is in position, we can press the XY0 button on the controller. This will allow us to set that origin location. Next, it's time to set your Z0. We will be using the top of the material as determined by our software. Simply jog the bit down to the surface of your material and press the Z0 button. Or, you can use the included touch off puck and press the tool set button. On the Elite Series machines, the spindle RPM will be displayed on your controller. Pressing the spindle button and the Z plus or minus buttons at the same time will allow you to change the RPM. For this bit, we will be setting our RPM at 24,000. After our flash drive has been inserted, press the file button on the controller. Once it loads, you can select from either the internal memory or the flash drive. Scrolling down to our folder labeled Masonite, we can press the OK button to select our file. After the file has loaded, the B58 controller will display the selected toolpath. When you're ready to run your file, press the Run Pulse Delete button on the controller. The work parameters screen will be displayed, and then pressing the OK button on the controller will display a four second countdown as your spindle fires up to operating RPM. We hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, for more information, you can always consult your Axiom user manual or simply visit us online at axiomprecision.com.